Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be taking a look at this unusual galaxy that you see in front of you, known as M32. This galaxy has a few mysteries, and also a few things we don't really understand about it, but today I'm going to tell you about a recent study that seems to have discovered its origins. Welcome to What The Math. So first of all, this galaxy is actually located not so far away from the Andromeda galaxy that you see in the back. And uh, one of the biggest mysteries of this unusual galaxy uh, is that it seems to be extremely dense and relatively massive for its size. Its size in terms of uh, the diameter is only about 6.5 thousand um, light years, which is actually really, really small in comparison to Milky Way that's um, over 100 thousand light years. Let me show you an example here. So the distance from this spot right here, that's actually Carina Nebula, and the center of the Milky Way is about uh, 27, 28 thousand light years. One fourth of the distance is about six and a half uh, thousand light years. So in other words, this right here, this region right here is the size of that galaxy known as M32. But its mass is very large and what's even more unusual the central supermassive black hole of this galaxy that you see on the screen right now is actually about a third of the mass of the uh, black hole in the Milky Way, making this unusual galaxy very massive for its size. It seems to have a lot of stars, it's very very dense, the distance between stars here is actually very small in comparison to the Milky Way. So there's a lot of unusual, unexplained uh, phenomena here. And the scientists studying this galaxy didn't really know how to explain this until recently, a study by Richard D'Souza from University of Michigan, uh, using computer simulation discovered something that uh, may explain what's going on here. So first of all, let me zoom out of here just to show you where this galaxy is located. So this galaxy is actually relatively close to the Andromeda that you see right here. And um, it also seems to be moving in a way that suggests that it was actually closer to the Andromeda before. On the other hand, a lot of the stars here are actually really old, and as a matter of fact, this galaxy has no more star production, suggesting that it's basically um, a dead remnant of something else. Now, this all suggests that this was actually a much larger galaxy a long time ago. And when the scientists studying this particular galaxy looked at the Andromeda as well, they discovered that Andromeda has a lot of the stars in its halo region, basically the region around the galaxy, which is essentially this blue region you see on the outskirts of the galaxy, that seems to have uh, a lot of stars that are relatively similar in age, uh, about 2 billion years, and that also seems to correspond to um, the period when the M32 galaxy would have been very close to the Andromeda. Now, all of this basically suggests one thing. Andromeda galaxy, which is the most massive galaxy in the local region of space, basically ate the former M32 galaxy that most likely was way, way larger. As a matter of fact, using computer analysis, uh, the scientists estimated that it was most likely the third largest galaxy in the local group. The second was the Milky Way, and this is the remainder of the third largest galaxy that used to be here. This would actually explain why it's so dense, or in other words, this is basically the leftover of the central region of the galaxy, and it would also explain why its black hole is so massive. It belonged to a much, much larger galaxy that is no longer there. Andromeda simply just ate away the largest piece. And so even though we discovered this particular galaxy close to about 300 years ago, as a matter of fact, a French astronomer by the name of Guillaume Le Gentil discovered it uh, using a very, very primitive telescope, um, it took us about 300 years to finally understand where it actually came from and how it was created and why it's the way it is. And interestingly, even though this collision only occurred about 2 billion years ago, in about 4 billion years, this galaxy and also most likely the Andromeda galaxy are all going to become part of the Milk Dromeda system. It's actually going to collide and combine uh, with the Milky Way and most likely also absorb the other smaller galaxies around them as well. 
Now this will definitely be the most massive galaxy in the local region, but also probably one of the most massive in the universe, and will eventually create this huge ball of stars, um, completely changing the shape of all of the galaxies as well. So all of the 40-something galaxies in the local region will actually become most likely just one. Well, anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video, and hopefully you'll learn a little bit more about M32 or M32P as it used to be known two billion years ago, when uh, basically it was a much bigger galaxy. For now though, that's really all we know about this, and hopefully one day we'll discover something else that will help us learn about the universe and understand the evolution of our own galaxy as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, and share this video with someone who enjoys learning about space, and consider supporting this channel on Patreon. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye. And if you actually wondered what the night uh, skies look like from a planet in the middle of this really dense galaxy, this is what it's all like. Extremely highly populated, lots of stars, lots of lots of starlight. Very unusual view compared to what we have here in the Milky Way.